Hello everyone. I wanted to share this video on a refurbishing of my first racing style bicycle which is a 1971 Raleigh record. I call this a refurbish rather than a rebuild because I have mainly replaced old components that have worn out. Therefore this video presents not only a history of this bike but also a history of the bicycle industry. So the next picture is of the frame and forks before I clean them. This fully lug frame actually was made in Nottingham, England in 1971. This was the least expensive and, unfortunately for me, the heaviest racing frame they made at the time. As you can see, they actually have the original paint on them with only some minor chips. That's pretty amazing for 40 years. The crank set is original to the bicycle and it was manufactured in France by a company called Nervar. It was made entirely of steel and as you will see here it cleans up very nicely. In order to lubricate the bottom bracket you actually have to pound out a cotter pin to remove the cranks from the spindle. Sometimes this was very difficult and I have plenty of bent cotter pins to prove it. The frame now has been thoroughly cleaned and the bicycle is ready for reassembly. The bicycle first came with what was called not a seat but a right leather saddle that was made by Brooks Saddle Company in England. Now that's a legacy name for you. Brooks was also owned by Raleigh and this leather saddle lasted quite a few years but I eventually replaced it with a seat made in China. This is a very nice picture of the Raleigh badge. Both the stem and the headset on this bicycle have never been changed. The stem was made by a company called AVA in France this has been publicized, perhaps most by Sheldon Brown, as the stem of death. Mainly because this stem had a tendency to crack inside the frame. This particular stem has never had any problems for me. Am I going to replace it? The warranty has expired along with the company that produced it, so I'm keeping it. Next you see the nicely clean chain rings, which have the standard for the time of 40 and 52 teeth. Although heavier, nothing lasts longer or cleans up better than high quality steel. The original front derailleur for this bicycle again was Hure Olivet, made in France and from the beginning it was very difficult to shift. I replaced it early on with an excellent Shimano derailleur made in Japan. The new Shimano pictured here is made in Singapore. As you may be noticing by now, during the 1970s the manufacturing of many reasonably priced bicycle components moved almost entirely to Japan. The original rear derailleur was again a very poor shifting Hure Alvit. This was replaced with a Suntour V derailleur that was an excellent performer and very reasonably priced. Suntour made very good products but due to stiff competition from Shimano they actually quit producing bicycle components in 1995. The original freewheel on the bicycle came with five gears or in bicycle lingo sprockets and it was manufactured by a company called Atom in France. The freewheel was difficult to remove and did not last very long so I replaced it early on with a very well designed Suntour Procomp pictured here. The current freewheel on this bicycle is from Shimano and it was made in Singapore. The original rims on the bicycle were steel made somewhere in Europe. In the rain these rims were very slippery so I built a new set of wheels with Weinmann alloy rims made in Belgium along with Japanese Shimano hubs. These were excellent but due to an accident the real wheel became bent and resisted truing. So I finally had to replace it with a rim and axle set from, you guessed it, China. So there you have it. This Raleigh record is now cleaned, lubricated, and adjusted. Some European parts remain, but those were followed by components from Japan and then more recently from Singapore and China. After many thousands of miles, this bicycle is back on the road again. I hope you have enjoyed this history of my 1971 blue and black Raleigh record.